Hi everyone. In this video, we will be learning how to install Parrot OS on VMware Workstation. All you need to do is either press Ctrl N or go to File Options, then New Virtual Machine. Start with the typical recommended configurations and from over here, browse to your Parrot OS ISO file which you have downloaded. As soon as you select this one, click on next, click on Linux, go to Debian and select either 9 or either 10x 64 bit, right? And after that, please do rename it as your Parrot OS. Any other name you want to give, you can even choose your preference location where you want to install this machine. I'll be keeping a default one and minimum requirement which I would recommend you to get for Parrot OS would be 40 GB for your hard disk and you can store virtual disk as a single file so it will be helping you in ease in order to whenever you want to remove it and click on customized hardware over there select 2 GB as your memory over here you can select 2, 1 or 4 so according to your system specifications select any of them I believe 2 GB is good to go processor 1 would be fine if you have like ample amount of system configuration just select number of processors 2 over here and that would be working fine make sure that your network adapter is being set to net which one is by default right then you can click close and click on finish you will be seeing that to the left hand side list a new Parrotsec, Parrot OS Sec will be created, a new VMX is being created and over here you will be seeing your Parrot OS which you recently created. Just click on this power on this virtual machine. Now we will be going to the install mode and we'll be starting with standard installer. language you will be choosing a preferred language to which by default i will be selecting english and country you can select yours as well i will be selecting india as of now and language for key map make sure you used american english No, it will be asking password for the root account. So for the root, I would recommend you guys to give it a password. You can give yours over here as well. Now, since root account is not being usable as your default account, we have to create a new user account. So you can name it with the any name as well, right? I'll be naming it Friday. You also have to set up the password and then you're good to go with user account creation. So by default, your Parrot OS will be starting with your user account instead of your root account. Now you'll be asked for partition disk. I would recommend you guys to keep it at the option one. Guided use entire disk as your default option and select this particular hard drive over here, which will be the only one available which we created of 40 gigabytes. And since uh, we are all new to Parrot OS, we will be keeping all files in one partition only. And it will be asking that undo changes to partition and finish partition changing. So I will be saying that yes, write changes to disk. It's asking me, do you want to return to partitioning menu? I'll be saying no, I am already done with that. Now it is asking me write changes to disk. Yes. Now after a couple of minutes, your system will be installing itself. It will be taking a little bit of time. So we'll be waiting up till then it finishes. Now, if you see guys, our installation is near about to complete. So let it install once and you will be basically having your next menu options once the screen installs itself.
now it will be asking you to install the bootloader so yes we need to install the bootloader in order to start our system so it will be asking install the grub bootloader to your primary drive say yes and then we have to select manually slash dev slash sda as our primary device over here right so we'll be selecting this one from the option and it will be installing the bootloader in our default directory It will be taking quick couple of seconds to install itself and then finish the installation. So if you see our installation has been completed, we'll be clicking on enter to continue in order to restart our system and it will be removing the live packages now and our system will be started once it's done the finish of removing the packages Once the installation finishes, your system will be restarting. And now you successfully have installed your Parrot OS. Thank you guys for watching this video.